So when you think about honors, you will think about engineering, you will think about health sciences, you will think about business. We want to add teacher and teacher training as one of the most important verticals, simply because it is the start of the way the students get to higher education and make a difference for themselves. So the most important element to me is the belief in education for impact, the belief that we can create world-class African talent. The basis for sustainable success, not just a two-year anniversary, but a 20-year anniversary, a 200-year anniversary, has to do with the people and the notions that they carry. Our people carry education for impact. The founders carry education for impact. The most important thing over the last two years is that Honoris is now real. Like two years ago, it was a, an idea. Two years later, it's not an idea anymore. We, we are on a cusp of looking at Egypt, looking at Nigeria, looking at Kenya, looking at online and becoming even more powerful and a, and a, a force of change, a force of contribution for the continent. First and foremost, administrative leadership does not change or create opportunities. Administrative leadership is efficiencies. Administrative uh, leadership leads to objectives. The Academic Council exists because we are an academic project. We are an educational project. And so we need to have the innovation from our academic leaders to make a difference. One of the, the biggest objectives that the Academic Council has today is to introduce what we're calling the Honoris uh, Certificate, uh, 21st Century Skills Certificate to be uh, more clear. And the certificate is meant to bring soft skills and digital skills. The formal curricular map will have within it active learning, we'll have some problem-based learning, we'll have some skill sets that the students will come together while they'll practice communication, project, uh, teamwork. The certificate is meant to make this a very clear advantage for our students. And when you think about education for impact, it starts with the student. It does not start with honors. We profess it, but the education for impact is not institution, it's individual. I want to have every student that comes in contact with us have a, a change of trajectory in their life. And she can go back to the community and change the trajectory of her family. And the family changes the community. So as I think about it, the uplifting that we could do, uh, economically, for sure. The uplifting that we can do in terms of broadening the horizon and the thinking, absolutely. That's why we're Pan-African. Not just because there's an opportunity to be Pan-African, but to be bigger than your own community. If one student changes their path because they've had an education with us that prepares them for that, we have done very well.